This is a tutorial for installing niche analyst software. The first step is to see what version of Java you have on your computer. On a Windows 7 system, go to Start Menu, All Programs, Accessories, and Command Prompt. On Windows XP, go to the Start Menu, click Run, type CMD, and then the following. If your version is older than 1.6, you'll need to go to the Java Runtime Environments website and download the latest version. Next, you'll navigate to the Biodiversity Informatics website. Here you'll download sample files and the installation file. Once the files are downloaded, you'll double click on the setup file. The next step is to perform a 3D test from the start menu in the niche A program. The words niche analyst should appear in the box in 3D format. If they do not appear in the box, then you'll need to return to the command line window and type DX Diag. A window will open and you'll need to click on the display tab. Check to see that the direct 3D acceleration is enabled. The next step is to check to see whether your computer can execute the functions available in niche A properly. Return to the folder where you downloaded <coughs> the setup file and unzip the virtual species folder. From all programs, open Niche Analyst 1.1 beta. Next, you will run a series of troubleshooting tests to check whether the appropriate drivers are available on your computer and to see whether the functions available in the chain will run on your computer. Under BioClim variables, double click the first file one tip. The troubleshooting function will check the drivers, attempt to read the content of the TIFF file and convert it to ASCII format, and then read the content of the ASCII format and convert it back to TIFF format. Finally, it will attempt to convert a GeoTIFF to a .png image file format. If you see all of these steps listed in the text file, the functions in niche A should run properly on your computer. The next step is to check the memory available in niche A on your computer. Open a background cloud by going to Tools, open a background cloud by going to File, and draw a background cloud from three environmental layers. Navigate to the PCA folder and click on the first TIFF. In the second and the third. Mm. 
click inside of the window to move the different axes around. Next, you will create a small ellipsoid. and create a virtual species. The next step is to open the virtual species in the Niche program. Navigate to the folder where you saved the virtual species. You should be able to see the yellow and the red colors indicating that the layer has been opened. The next step is to design a barrier for the virtual species. Under Tools, click on Design Barriers. Next, create a polygon around the area in which you would like to design the barrier. Give the barrier a name and click Generate. Next, you will open the barrier in Niche Analyst. Navigate to your folder where you saved the barrier and double click the In folder. Once you see that the barrier is opened in Niche A, then you will know that all of the functions are available to work on your computer. If the layers did not open in Niche A, it was likely due to a memory allocation problem. If this is the case, you will need to navigate to the Niche A.bat file located in the program files Niche A folder. Right click on the niche a.bat file and click edit. Replace the text with the following. The numbers 512 indicate the minimum memory allocated and 1024 is the maximum. You will need to save this file and then when you would like to use Niche Analyst, you'll need to navigate to this folder and double-click on the nichea.bat file to initiate the program.